The objective of our research is to anticipate and predict chemical uh, effects on the environment. Uh, we need measurement instruments for that. You see here, for instance, plants that are representative of trees and we use it to uh, assess and predict environmental contamination. Currently we are working on understanding and predicting uh, combined effects from mixture exposure against chemicals and we try to understand and simplify such complex systems to uh, achieve prediction tools that are useful for chemical risk assessment. I think one of our major achievements is that we uh, have been able to come up with models to predict combined effects for mixtures of chemicals and specifically we were able to show that individual compounds may contribute to a mixture effect even if they are in themselves not active. That means you find uh, something from nothing. Uh, and the observation might be scary, but as we uh, provided models to, to predict that, uh, it's actually quite an achievement for future risk assessment. It's everyone's expectation these days that we not just release chemicals and see what happens, uh, but that we predict a priori, that is before use and consumption, uh, potential adverse effects. And uh, that is a challenge as we see when looking into glyphosate or dioxins, uh, which is sort of the state of the art that we have now. We do something and then we get a surprise story back. And chemicals, uh, you can't call chemicals back like a BMW. Well, to gain better understanding you need to communicate efficiently. However, there's an intrinsic difficulty for science. Uh, if we don't oversell our products, they are, tend to be very specific, hard to explain and perhaps a bit boring for many people. Uh, so we need a uh, collaboration with media, with journalists that should help us to find a good place in, and again, supporting rationality. Thank you.